This video finishes the content of the Transitions course. Its purpose is to show that in hyperbolic geometry, the sum of the angles of a triangle is less than 180 degrees. The results along the way will be kind of important, but I would not ask you to memorize the proofs. First result, the exterior angle theorem is a result in both Euclidean and hyperbolic geometry. We start with the black triangle and angle CAG is an exterior angle to this triangle, whereas angle ABG is an interior angle to the triangle. And the content of the theorem is that the exterior angle here is greater than the interior angle here. This exterior angle would also be greater than this interior angle, but we'll just prove one of these. So um, starting then with the red part of the construction, let's let E be the midpoint of AB. And then draw line GE and extend it out and mark point F so that GE is congruent to EF. Then join F and A and put an extra point H down here for reference. So then because vertical angles here at vertex E are congruent, we have a triangle uh, GEB is congruent to triangle F E, A. That's by side angle side. And so the angle here, um, EAF, is congruent to the angle here, EBG. Now, the measure of angle CAG, this exterior angle we want to talk about, is certainly greater than the measure of angle CAH since CAH is part of the bigger angle. But CAH is congruent to its vertical angle, EAF, and we just showed that that was congruent to angle ABG. So that does it. Second theorem says that the same thing applies in omega triangles. So here's omega triangle AB omega. And here's an exterior angle CA omega. And the content of the theorem is CA omega, the exterior angle, is greater than measure of angle AB omega, the interior angle. And the proof for the omega triangle has uh, some properties the same or some methods the same as an exterior angle theorem. It's just more complicated and messier. So um, that is proved in the book, and I'll skip it here. Next result, given a Sakari quadrilateral ABCD here in black, the so-called summit angles ADC and BCD are, first of all, congruent, and then second of all, acute. They have measure less than 90 degrees. For the congruent part, uh, just draw a couple of diagonals here and use side angle side a couple of times. I think this problem is actually on the uh, one of the um, sa uh, sample question um, parts. Let's prove here that these two angles are acute. So as shown in red, let's draw D omega and C omega to be the left sense parallels to line AB at points D and C. Now, triangle CD omega is an omega triangle, and so by the exterior angle theorem, angle ED omega, this exterior angle here, is greater in measure than DC omega, the interior angle here. But by side angle congruence in triangle AD omega, 
and triangle BC omega, both of those omega triangles um, have a right angle and then congruent legs here. And so those two triangles are congruent. And so angle AD omega and angle BC omega marked in blue are congruent. So they have equal measure. Now, let's look at the measure of angle ED omega. So if I break that, I'm sorry, measure of angle EDA. So if I break that into two parts, ED omega plus AD omega, and apply the result from the exterior angle theorem to replace uh, ED omega in measure by DC omega, and the congruence result we just got to replace measure of AD omega with BC omega, then because the first term has been replaced by something smaller and the second terms are equal in size, the sum gets smaller. But now if I put these two angles together, DC omega plus BC omega in measure add to DCB. Okay, now by one, part one, um, DCB and CDA are congruent to each other. But if I look over here at point D, EDA plus CDA form a straight line, and so their measures add to 180 degrees. Now, EDA is greater than DCB, and DCB is equal in measure to CDA. So I have two terms adding to 180, therefore the larger of the two terms is greater than 90, and CDA, which is the smaller of the two terms, has to be less than 90. And that does that. Third fact, <clears throat> if a quadrilateral has three right angles, then its fourth angle has to be acute. So we start with the quadrilateral in black, A, B, C, D. Then let's form the red construction. Let's extend segment A, B and uh, measure off B, E so that it's congruent to A, B. Likewise, up here at the the uh, top, extend lines DC and measure off till CF is congruent to DC. Then play some uh, side angle, side triangle congruence games. So ABC can be shown to be congruent to EBC, and I get a bunch of angles and sides congruent. And then the upper two triangles, ACD and ECF, can be shown to be congruent. And so in particular, um, side AD is congruent to side FE. And also, there is a right angle here at FEB. That makes the quadrilateral A, E, F, D to be a saccharide quadrilateral. And since the angles of a saccharide, the summit angles of a saccharide quadrilateral are acute, angle A, D, C is acute. Finally, almost to where we want to be, the sum of the angles of any right triangle is less than 180 degrees. 
we want to show this for any triangle, not just right triangles. Let's do the right triangle first. We'll start with right triangle ACB. Let D be the midpoint of the hypotenuse AB. And then construct um, DE perpendicular to CB. So E is the point of perpendicularity. Now, note the angle DBE and come up and construct a segment out here so that angle DAF is congruent to this angle and also so that segment AF is congruent to segment BE. So we make this angle the same as down here, and we measure along this ray until we get a congruent segment. Then if I join F and D uh, by side angle side, these two triangles, DBE and DAF, are congruent. And so in particular, angle AFD is congruent to this right angle. B, E, D. So now that we know that the angle at F is a right angle, we have quadrilateral C, E, F, A, which has three right angles. And so we know that its fourth angle, angle C, A, F, has to be acute by what we just proved. So then if I add the three angles in triangle ABC, the measure of angle BCD plus the measure of angle CAB plus the measure of angle ABC, so the first angle is a right angle, and the second two angles are the same thing as angle CAF because it's composed of two pieces, the second of which is congruent to the angle here at point B. But angle CAF is acute, and so I have 90 plus something less than 90 has to be less than 180. Last result, the sum of the angles of any triangle is less than 180 degrees in hyperbolic geometry. Okay, so here's any triangle, A, B, C. And if you take the, if you start at the largest angle and run a perpendicular to the opposite side, it, it will intersect between the two endpoints. So I can split triangle A, B, C into two right triangles like this. Then if we Take the angle sum of each of the two right triangles, angle 1 plus 2A plus the right angle 90 degrees, and then the right triangle 2B plus 3 plus another 90 degrees. Each of these angle sums has to be less than 180. But if I look at what this addition is, um, Angle 1 plus 2A plus 2B plus 3 is exactly the angle sum 1 plus 2 plus 3. And so if I subtract 180 from both sides of this inequality, I get that the angle sum of ABC is less than 180. And that's the result that we wanted to get to.